Hey RC people, Tony here, CCXRC. We're in the studio again with another box that we're going to be unboxing for you today. We know that you love these unboxings, but honestly, I want to see it flying. Most of you want to see it flying. We'll go through the unboxing for the people that like to see how everything is packaged, uh, but we'll try and do it quickly. A uh, couple of things that I just want to get through real quick. As you can see, I'm wearing my Renegade Rotors t-shirt that I just got in. This thing is totally sick looking I think uh, but I've also got stickers here so if you want to get some Renegade Rotor stickers start repping the new YouTube channel that we're starting for drone content quadcopter multi-copter content um, let me know you gotta subscribe to it and send me a message at Facebook so facebook.com slash rotormouth I had to choose rotormouth which is what you see here anyway in the sticker you see he's got kind of that little rotor mouth going on in the uh, gas mask. Well, um, I had to use that name because Facebook said that Renegade is a word that they think is offensive or something. I couldn't use it as my URL, which is crazy. But anyway, uh, I've got stickers, things like that, that you can have. Just subscribe, shoot me a message saying that you want them. I've actually got a bunch of small stickers coming in. So those of you that have already sent me information saying that you want to get stickers... I'm holding out until I can get you some of the small ones as well. Um, so I'll be getting them in the mail as soon as that package comes in the mail for me here. But now to the order of business. We've got the Walkera Rodeo 110 mini size quadcopter here in the box. And we're going to unbox it right after this gratuitous break. All right, so here's the box and here is the sticker a little bit closer so you can see it. Yeah, check that out. All right. So I've been doing a lot of quads, having a lot of fun with these things. And um, so GearVest said that they would send me this to do a review of. And I said, sweet, another drone. Let's do it. Let's show people what this thing is like. And uh, so basically what we're getting is it's a 110 millimeter motor to motor. Uh, frame so it's going to be really mini. It's got a FPV video transmission and uh, it's got um, Well, we'll see what it's got in here. All right, we've got an instruction manual which has pre-opened maybe uh, Customs went through here for me. I mean it's slit open we've got our instruction manual and a User manual on a CD who has CD players anymore people? Huh? Okay, my computer does not have a CD drive. So we've got the manual. It doesn't feel very thick, but it feels very nice. Um, it's smooth and silky. <laughs> not that that matters. It says 12th December 2016. So this thing is brand new. Um, they've just released these. And it's got a whole bunch of uh, information in here about how uh, all the controls work. And uh, we'll go through this a little bit later. Uh, but it shows you how to uh, bind the controller. It'll tell you how to arm it, how to do different maneuvers and all of that, and what to do at the end of your flight. Spare props, which will come in handy. Now these use two screws that um, screw directly into the motors instead of uh, having kind of a nut that installs them. So uh, I will probably need to order more of these because I tend to crash a lot still. I'm still getting into this. We've got a USB cable and uh, again the packaging of this thing is just really slick. They've done a really really good job with packaging uh, for the item. But that was a USB cable to connect to your computer to do clean flight. Um, this is um, an eighth inch cable for your controller. And here it is. Look at that. Looks really nice. I'm not gonna lie, I really, really like it. I like the housing that they've put on it here, the like the guards for the camera. It's got a little protector here on the uh, the camera lens. We'll just peel that off. Let the uh, let the lens shine in the light a little bit. Oh yeah. All right. So looking at it from the front, right up front, we've got our FPV camera here. It has two screws on each side, which you can use to make adjustments and tighten it into place where you want to have it. For the freestyle stuff, I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to keep it. Uh, it's not a super fast quad, so I'm probably not going to raise it much more than 
30 percent 25 uh, degrees not percent we've got an LED light here on the bottom we've got a carbon fiber uh, frame here and again it's a 110 frame our props are already installed and they are using uh, two screws that drive in to hold it in place with our ESC's here which actually interestingly enough have a screw that runs right through the frame and so we'll see what that does for durability having that kind of weak spot there in the frame right where the motor would hit um, and if that creates a weak spot or not uh, while we've got it down here we've got an external RX port if you want to do a different receiver it's a really sick looking quad I really like what they've done here everything is um, enclosed inside of uh, this frame and it's got a housing around it between the top plate and bottom part of the frame and these the top and bottom are carbon fiber but you've got a plastic around it that kind of protects the innards but it's got a gap on the bottom I'm guessing is for ventilation um, you can see here how the ESC's connect actually it uses a pin system and so these just kind of press in to uh, these connectors here, which I haven't looked inside yet to see if those then solder to the power distribution slash flight controller or if that's part of it and these clip into it. I, I haven't looked, but that's why they're running this screw in here uh, to hold this so it won't move out of that pin setting. On the top here, you can see we've got settings for our FPV system and so that's going to let us choose our channel and uh, what band we're on. Uh, looks like there's a little button here as well. Uh, I don't know what that does yet. I haven't. I'm just opening this in front of you. We've got on the tail here our plug-in for our battery which is a JST connector which is uh, a little bit interesting. I guess that limits what you can do as far as putting uh, battery power to this um, I've, I've read that you don't want to go more than 2s because you might fry stuff so maybe that's just to help limit what options you have available for batteries I don't know speculating at this point here we've got this funky little uh, antenna for our FPV and then we've got two uh, antennas for the receiver module um, and uh, we'll go in the box here and we'll pull out the controller for this but I mean overall it's a really nice looking quad I'm excited to fly it. I like this these smaller smaller quads all right I'm gonna just kind of go back to the box here push that out of the way and we'll pull out our Devo controller here Ooh, a Devo 7 um, looks and feels really great so lots of knobs and switches hold and so we'll we'll learn what all these are for the modes and uh, and all of that here our menus up down left right uh, but first we gotta know what kind of power we need in here it looks like we need eight AA batteries that is quite a lot so I will have to get some of those but it also uses a JST, so we could probably use uh, a 9.6 volt, 600 milliamp hour battery or a NICAD, a NICAD battery, the same double A's. So. Anyway, that looks good, feels great in your hands, feels quite like my Spectrum. So, um, very, very well built. And so again, this is the ready to fly version, costs a little bit more than the bind and fly. And the last thing I think that we have in here, yep, is going to be our charger, which is a US plug. And so this is from GearBest. A lot of times I get the European plugs and I have to have an adapter. So that that is welcomed. We'll say that much. All right, so here she is fully assembled with the battery on top. Very small profile here. Just hold it in my hand. It's about the size of my hand. Um, and we've got the battery in, it's ready to be plugged in and go out for its first flight. And so let's go do that right now. All right, here we go with first flight with the Wakara. Just have to pull the armament 
all the way to the corner, you'll hear a beep, and then we should be able to get it flying. There it is. It's quick. For a little guy. So, I mean, it handles really smooth. It's a little bit of interesting noise, but maybe it's just the size of the props and the motors. But you can hear the wind catching in it. It's, uh, again, for a little, little quad like this, it's got some speed. It feels really good as far as the handling goes. Now, I'm, I'm using uh, auto leveling mode, so this is like the beginner mode which would actually be great for somebody uh, learning to uh, to fly one of these. Again, you still have to, there's no, uh, the hovering is not gonna hold like GPS, so you've gotta manually keep it uh, at the altitude that you want. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a bit windy as I'm doing these tests. So we're gonna actually switch modes here, which on this stick is their mix. Uh, it's on your right right finger here. We'll go all the way down. So now we're into uh, basically rate mode. And so you've got to fully control it at all times. We'll try a few flips and things here once I get it under control from the wind. All right, so now you can't go full throttle down on this one because actually the props completely turn off. Uh, at the settings that it's at now. And this is completely box stock. So that's something to keep keep uh, aware of. So there's a flip. So you're going to have to use a control. Now the thing is, you, you, if you want to tune this a little bit different, you can use clean flight. That's a slow flip for you. But uh, you need to use 1.2.0. That is the firmware that they use for these. See how it completely died out there when I pulled down? It did not do the flip move because I went all the way down. Whoops, and tumble. See how it took the fall. Check our props. Everything looks pretty good. So we'll reactivate it. And we're. I mean, overall, the handling feels really good on it. Go around this tree here. This would be a lot easier FPV. I don't have a... Um, setup for this to do FPV right now that I can use and film at the same time. So I'll have to do footage of that later, maybe in my backyard. Uh, it's too hard to see this against the trees in the backyard, so I thought maybe out here I'd be able to get a little bit more visual because you can see uh, up into the sky a little easier. But we are battling some wind. Let's bring it in here closer for you to have a look. And then hovering. for a second while it's blowing so hard. Yeah, I do like it. We'll zoom it out here and zoom it around in a minute. There it goes. And so we're not really even doing full throttle up on this because of the space that we're in. Yeah, nice quick uh, little flyer for a 110 size. I like it. Um, I'm being careful here because I do not really want to crash on the cement with the uh, 
the screws that they put through the frame kind of worry me about being a weak spot. I've seen a few that have broken their frames right there where the motor goes in, but the ESCs screw into the frame. So, uh, yeah. I'll do a couple little uh, moves. Very agile, so. Don't want to put on the roof. Getting good battery life too out of it. See if we can give you a quick lift here. Oh, that was gnarly. Luckily it fell through the tree. I took it too high. So there's some tuning I'm gonna have to do. I did download uh, from the Walkera forums the uh, Clean Flight 1.2.0. I'm gonna switch the arm disarm because uh, I like to have a an assigned switch for that so that I can quickly kill it which is not as easy to do when you're using it down and uh, when you're using basically uh, your left controller bottom right is to disarm uh, bottom left of the control is to uh, arm it and so that's just not ideal when you're flying and want to want to do uh, kill the motors before it hits the ground on a crash or going into a tree so However, it is nice that you can fully throttle down on this right now and you can uh, stop the propellers, but that does not allow me to easily uh, do the flips. You've got to be much more uh, controlled about not hitting all the way down. And my fingers are just tuned uh, and the memory, you know, learned memory of my uh, hands is to go full down. And so it's just, I don't want to unlearn that from my other quads. So you can hear it, the battery, it's beeping because the battery is low. So we have an alarm, which is nice, especially if this is kind of geared towards uh, beginner users. We'll go ahead and hold bottom right, turn off the props. That way if we push up, it will not turn on. So um, yeah, I really like the way it flies and we'll get it into uh, more of the rate mode when we were hooked up to uh, FPV goggles so I've got those charging up right now